What's up viewers, this is Raptorius here, bringing you a tutorial about how you can use your joystick as a MIDI controller. So in order to do this, you're going to need two pieces of software, or one piece of software and one driver. The first is called Rejoice, which is going to allow you to map your joystick to a MIDI output. And the second is called Loop V1, which is a MIDI driver, which lets you take the signals from Rejoice and use them in your Digio Audio Workstation, Fruity Loops, Ableton, etc. So once you've installed these two items, you can go ahead and open up Rejoice. And in Rejoice, you're going to have this little option up here which when you press a button you'll see it shows up right here if you move an axis you'll see it shows up right here so what you're gonna have to do is to uh, tell Rejoice all about your joystick by tweaking something and then clicking add if it's a button you're gonna want to hold down the button and then click add and you can do this for all the different parts of your joystick that you're going to want to use inside your program. Now you can tell that it's been successfully mapped because if you tweak it, it will show up in this little log down here. So once that's set up, uh, make sure your MIDI out is to the loop B internal driver and go ahead and open up whatever program you use. This is Fruity Loops. Go to Options, MIDI Settings under MIDI settings and the input section make sure loop B internal MIDI is enabled and then to test that it works just press whatever buttons you mapped and if it's successful this little green indicator light should turn on so that's pretty much it you're, you're ready to go as far as MIDI is concerned um, and you can use this like any other MIDI device so just to give a sample put in some audio Let's say we want to link the master sound to the controller. Uh, this little button will pop up after you right click and hit, what does that say? You right click and hit link to controller. And if this little auto detect button's checked, all you do is tweak your little thing on your joystick and it will be mapped. That's pretty cool. And let's see what else you can do with this. Um, let's say you want to put in an effect. Um, so you want some compression on this and you want to be able to turn it on and off. You just tweak your little thing, go to tools slash tweak link to controller, press your button, and there you go. It's as easy as that. So once again, this is Raptorius. If you like this video, um, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe or follow me on Twitter. Uh, that's my handle. And I'll try to bring you some more videos in the future. That's how you use your joystick as a mini controller. Signing out.